Hi everyone, now you're going to learn with me about discussion text. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to tell you about my presentation outline, which is about what I'm going to tell you and we're gonna learn together today in this video. So, but first of all, it's about what is discussion text and then the purpose of discussion text and then why we need to uh, learn about discussion text. And also, I'm going to tell you about how to write a uh, discussion text and then I'll give you an example of a discussion text. All right, now let's jump to the first one. What is actually discussion text? So text discussion is a text which presents a problematic discourse or an issue. And this problem will be discussed from various different points of view. And each of the point of view which, uh, presents pro and contra opinion on certain issue in order to discover the main point of issue or a problem. And uh, yeah, in short, text discussion is, is a text that made to find the main point between two different ide ideas, which is from the pro and con. All right, now let's jump to the purpose of discussion text. In many social activities, discussion is an effective way uh, to calm down any frictions and differences in thought perception and recommendation also your opinions in this case the purpose of a discussion text is to present different opinions on a particular issue uh, or topic in order or on the other hand the main purpose is to deliver arguments and information from different viewpoints it is important to get the understanding between two differences and then, all right, now let's jump to the uh, point three, which is about why do we have to learn about discussion text? The first one is experiencing discussion text helps students to think clearly and critically. And then um, on the other hand, as students get to familiarize themselves with discussion text, it also develops their critical thinking and their writing ability. And when reading this text, students need to be focused on how the authors use persuasive evaluative text words to influence the readers. All right, now let's jump to um, writing discussion text. How to write discussion text. First of all, you need to know how uh, you need to know how to uh, construct discussion text, which is about their generic structures. And the first one of the generic structures is issue. So, the first generic structure from uh, discussion text is issue. S issue is about statement of uh, something that review that uh, shows review of the main arguments it contains a review about something that you want to uh, discuss in your text and then after that after you uh, put the issue and then you have to uh, make a supporting point after stating the issue it is necessary to present the argument to support to support that one point is agreeing in short, arguments for plus supporting evidence. And then you have to put on the other side of uh, opposite, you have to put contrastive point. Beside the supporting argument, discussion text also needs the arguments which uh, disagree to state the issue. Or we could simply say the arguments against plus supporting evidence. And then the the last one, the final touch of uh, writing discussion text is you have to put recommendation or we can simply say a uh, conclusion. It is used to tell uh, the readers how to solve the issue, the issue by connecting the arguments for and against. Uh, or we can simply say recommendation summary 
or whatever you say and then uh, I also want to uh, want you to remember that there are several things that we have to remember when we are about to uh, write discussion text uh, we have uh, the first sentence of paragraph have to describe the issue that you want to discuss so you have to after choosing the, the, the issue or problem or topic that you want to discuss in your discussion text after that you have to describe what is this all about because uh, in order to make your uh, readers um, think clear about what you're going to um, discuss in your discussion text and then after that you have to uh, make arguments for both sides for for both sides in uh, opposite side and affirmative side and then after that um, you have to make sure that points that you deliver in your uh, in your um, discussion text as your arguments you have to make sure that points are backed up i mean in in this in this case your arguments have to uh, follow up with clear evidence and then after that um, I'm going to tell you about language features in uh, writing discussion text there are several there are several uh, language features the first one is introduction introducing uh, introducing a category or general participant and relating a verb to be using thinking verb and um, using modalities, using adverbial of manner, using conjunction or transition, and using simple present tense. Because um, all discussion texts uh, indeed uh, use uh, simple present tense. All right, I will tell you. I will uh, give you. Uh, some uh, an example of a discussion text which is about homework so in this uh, text the the author have have has decided to uh, choose the issue about homework and then in this we can uh, read in the first paragraph I have been wondering if homework is necessary I think we should have homework because it helps us to learn and revise our work. Homework helps people who, who aren't very smart to remember what they have learned. In this uh, text, the author have um, the author has introduced us to what is homework is about, what homework is about, and then um, uh, the author also stated. Um, the benefit of getting homework but on the other side uh, the author also mentioned uh, doing homework it's not a great idea and I think we shouldn't have to do homework because I like to go out after school yeah there also there are um, cont uh, opinions in our discussion text so I don't so this is a great example um, what we have to do is after writing the mm, the topic is about and you have to put uh, your arguments in a positive way and negative way and then you come to the last final touch which is about uh, the uh, conclusion and summary or recommendation of your topic all right that's all i can say uh thank you very much for lear for learning with me for being with me and see you again in my another video thank you